Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Bishop Clarence N. Williams, the National Overseer of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Bishop and Pastors from the Church of God of Prophecy, our visiting pastors and leaders from here in North Caicos, fellow worshipers from our twin islands and across the TCI, my parents, Bishop Arthur and Reverend Violet Gardner, the rest of my family, my in-laws, my extended family, of course, my dear wife, Monique, the congregation of the Church of God of Prophecy here in Ball Creek, friends and relatives from near and far, good night. I thank each and every one of you for coming to share in this momentous occasion the installation of the next pastor for the Church of God of Prophecy here in Ball Creek, North Kinkis. I'm so grateful for each of you here tonight. This is a very, very, very big event. Amen? Amen. This is a very, very, very big event. You know, next door in the Bahamas, things are beginning to settle down, but I think this is much bigger than what happened yes. in the Bahamas. Amen? Yes, 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 yes. yes. I want to give a special thanks to our national leader, Bishop Clarence. Thank you for your leadership and mentoring. In another six days, you'll be celebrating a birthday. I'm grateful that the Lord has given you the strength to carry on. Amen? Let's give him a cheer. <laughs> Special thank goes to all of God's wonderful people and all of the persons that served or assisted in any shape or form to ensure that this day was a success. Thank you for your tireless efforts. Our caterers, interior decorator, Pastor Courtney for the loan of a session of his orchard. Let's give all of them a big cheer. <laughs> Our church family in Q, Whitby, and Mill Kickers. I'd say the entire island of North Mill Kickers. I want to thank you for all of the investment that you've made in my life over the years. Amen? And has greatly contributed to the preacher and person that I am today. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Our pastors, you've heard from most of them, but I just want to make mention I see Pastor Willis Smith from the Lighthouse Church in the back. Let's give him a hand. Let's give all of them a hand. That came. It's very good. I counted at least over 20 of them that came to support me here tonight. Amen? I'm happy to see you. And of course, as you've all invited me, I will be interacting with you much more as we move along in this journey. Amen? I'm also eternally grateful for the privilege to have my family members in attendance for this grand occasion. Can all of you stand? All of my family members stand. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I thank the Lord for each of you. Amen. Let's give them a big cheer. A big cheer. It means so much to me to have been able to share this moment with you. Especially my parents, Bishop Arthur and Reverend Violet. You've been wonderful examples. Amen? A teacher, a teacher. I have all of my siblings here with the exception of Ruth and uh, Lisa that's in the UK. Ruth had a previous engagement. She couldn't make it. And of course, Lisa over in the UK. One thing I want you to do, I'm happy that this took place during the night, if I take this, the day will come and just go on the back. Please take note of the change in your budget that you will have to make in order to return. Amen? Please take note 
of the change that we have to make in the budget. So please don't tell me to do make it just the last time. Make sure to come back and visit me. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 I acknowledge the fact that you've all traveled in Providenciary, but North Pickens has not moved all the years, and transportation is readily, readily available. The boot probably only stops if the government tells you the hurricane center to stop, so I expect to see you back with me. Amen? Thank you. Thank the Lord for my dear wife, Ali. She is a gift that the Lord gave me. I pray that the Lord will help us to glorify Him in everything that we do. Give a big cheer. A big cheer. A big cheer. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, I want to thank the entire Church of God of Prophecy here in Ball Creek. And that of course including our former pastor, Reverend Skippins. Thank you for your continued prayer, support, and encouragement. God has blessed me with an amazing opportunity to serve such a wonderful congregation. I'm beyond elated to be installed as the senior pastor of the Church of God of Prophecy here in Ball Creek. God certainly deserves the glory for all that he has done. You have watched me grow up and now embrace me as the new leader of the congregation here in Mount Creek. I look forward to many years together serving and worshiping the Almighty God. My prayer is that God, peace, grace, and favor will rest upon each of you. Let's give a big cheer. in his pastoral acceptance for the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church on May 2nd, 1954, admitted to his new congregation. I have no pretense to being a great preacher or even a profound scholar. I certainly have no pretense to the amiability that is referred, that reserved the height of the divine rather than the depth of the human. He continued, I come to you with only the claim of being a servant of Christ and the feeling of dependence on His grace for my leadership, I come with a feeling that I've been called to preach and to lead God's people. Amen? Following Jesus today takes partnership. We become followers when we gather in this old meeting house and as the reformers put it, the word is truly preached and the Spirit brings us into God's presence. We learn to follow God by raising our voices in Him, psalms and spiritual songs to God, Ephesians 5 in 19. We learn to follow by praying alone at home, by praying with our hands and feet, and within these walls and beyond. We learn to follow God by discerning God's Spirit, moving always in mysterious and surprising ways. Every person in the congregation has a gift or talent that the Lord can use. Amen? This is being alluded to earlier. Every person in the congregation has a gift or talent that the Lord can use. No one should feel that they are unimportant or useless. In order for an organization to be successful, it needs to have committed members using their gifts to the glory of God. Amen? Change and transition is not the same. Change is external. Situational transition is internal. Transition means termination. In order to have a meaningful transition, there must be a termination of something. In order to start something new, something old has to die. Every person experiences a change. A change could be in employment, address, or marital status. Let's look at some of the changes in God's Word. Elisha to Elijah, Samuel to Saul, Saul to David, Moses to Joshua. In the midst of change, God decides to transition us, move us, and transform us to be more like Him. It usually requires letting go of something that keeps from us from wholeheartedly pursuing Him. Change generally leads to confusion, frustration. The born-again believer should not experience confu confusion 
because the word of God provides instruction. Amen? In order to transition and live what God called on our lives, we need to start doing the things he called us to do. Love the brethren, show hospitality, do ministry, honor marriage, check your character, and be content. Dr. Vernon Brown says that whenever we are faced with a major decision, we ought to ask ourselves, what difference will it make in 10,000 years? Most of the things we worry about wouldn't matter in three weeks, let alone three months or three years. We focus on the trivial and forget to pursue the eternal. But 10,000 times, 10,000 years from now, you'll be glad you invested your life for Christ. Amen? Amen. The only instruments that last forever are the instruments we make, the only investments, sorry, that last forever are the investments that we make for Jesus Christ. The only thing you can take to heaven is someone else. Everything else will be left behind. All great, so I say. Let's get a big crowd and take them to heaven with us. Amen? Why leave anyone behind? Let's tell everyone in North Cages about Jesus or wherever your life path leads you. People are desperate for love and they will do almost anything to know they are loved. There lies a great opportunity for any congregation. Let us love the people God sent us. Let us love the people who are not yet in the church. Let us tell them the great gospel of God's love is the best news the world has ever heard. This church has a great history. Amen? I pray that the best days may be yet to come. Amen? And closing, I want to wish all of the mothers joining us here tonight a happy Mother's Day. Let's give yourself a big round of applause. Yes, and I pray that the Lord will speak to each of you at your every point of the In closing, as the program says, to make announcements, our next opportunity for worship will be on Sunday, the 14th of May at 9.45 a.m. at our Sunday school, followed at 11 a.m. with our divine worship. Our Sunday school topic is evangelizing in Europe is under the theme Paul's journey. The session that we are dealing with Paul's journey, the topic would be evangelizing in Europe. So again, I thank each and every one of you for coming to witness this event and by you coming, I know that you will keep me in your prayers. Amen? You have witnessed it, no one has to tell you what has happened. You have seen it with your own eyes and I know and I expect you to pray that God's work will continue here in Bobby. Amen? Amen? As I pray for each and every one, you know, this is not the only place of ministry in North Texas, but this is one that should be, that should go on. Amen? That should go on. And everyone expects it to go on, and it will go on. Amen? It will go on. I ask you to continue to pray for us. So again, give yourself another round of applause. Another round of applause. And I'll come this part back to our bishop. Okay. We're going to make some announcements concerning the food. I don't know if any of you all of you have.